The Hobbit pub in Southampton attracted international attention back in 2012 when a Hollywood film firm insisted the pub change its name. At the time, Lord of the Rings star Sir Ian McKellen and Stephen Fry stepped in to help the Beavis Valley Freehouse. But now it's not a film company or even the threat of Sauron that could force this shire watering hole to close, but rather rising costs and mounting renovations. Our reporter Richard Stringer spoke with the pub's management to find out what could be done. In the Shire of Beavis Valley, there's an inn where a weary traveller can rest their feet and indulge in second breakfast. The Hobbit pub has been a favourite with Tolkien fans and students for more than 20 years, but now the management team could be forced to close if funds to renovate the building cannot be raised. It's, it's sort of a twofold thing. Is one is it is obviously a very old building. Um, I think it, there's, there's a, a post, a sign on the wall over there, framed around the corner with the. Uh, original deed to the land so I think it dates back to like 1840 so it is a very old building and so there's there's upkeep and maintenance that needs doing so just to name a few things we've got the the, the front above the uh, the windows at the front there when we get heavy rain like we've recently it leaks um, we've got problems with the floor in the downstairs bar we've got problems with the floor behind the bar here our burger bar out the back is basically unusable just because of state of disrepair that it's that, that it's in and it's all not helped by the fact that the the business rates and the and the rent are so high um, I mean they were set I think just before the crash in 2008 so which was pretty much at the peak of what we were you know the, how busy we were and since then people just don't have the money to go out anymore they're not going out as much anymore um, we're very heavily sort of student oriented and with tuition fees being what they are students aren't going out as much anymore and because of that we just don't have the money to do sort of essential repairs on the building it, it, it's very very noticeable when the students go home that the place pretty much dies <laughs> over the summer you know we try and keep it going we, we put on all day events ska festivals reggae festivals we've got a wrestling thing at the end of the month but just to keep sort of some of the, the local interest but we are very much a student-led pub these days there are enough places in Southampton that have already failed because, like, for one reason or another, so there aren't many, many small venues left in Southampton, which is a shame. Previously, when the pub was the target of a licensing dispute, Sir Ian McKellen, who played Gandalf in the films, along with Stephen Fry, stepped in to help. And this time, the response from the public, both local and international, has been overwhelming. It was the, the name of the pub, the artwork outside, the names of the cocktails. Yeah, a few years ago was a little bit, a little bit scary. <laughs> Setting up the uh, the GoFundMe page, not not a decision we took lightly, and yeah, we've been sort of really overwhelmed by just the positive support that we've had from sort of so many people, and like yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming by it. I remember last time there were people sort of commenting and donating from Canada and New Zealand, and I think I, we've had the same same again with uh, people from all over. When that TV approached Southampton City Council, they responded saying. The rateable value is set by the Valuation Office Agency and we apply a set government multiplier against this value to work business rates. They will need to contact the VOA and they will provide guidance and advice. It is again about, about the community and about you know this, this place is part of Southampton community, it's part of the fabric of Southampton. I just think that the whole place would be culturally poorer if places like this closed down. But a lot of pubs these days are just cut and paste versions of pubs everywhere else you don't get the same sense of sort of character and community that you get and that you know this is it is still part of the alternative community and the student community and it would be a real shame to lose it this is richard stringer for that's tv